Welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve video editing tutorial. In this video, we'll be changing the speed of a clip. We can increase the speed, make it fast. We can slow it down and do slow motion. And to do that, all we do is bring it into the timeline, right click on the clip, and go to Change Clip Speed. So it's important to know what's happening here. This is actually changing the speed of the clip, and it will be the it'll change it to a speed that will it'll be the way it is when you render out the video. Um, it's different, so if we if we change this right now, if we double the speed, so from 100%, we can just click left click and hold and move to the right and to the left to change the speed, or we can double click on it and type in a number like 200 and hit enter, and then I'll change it to 200%. We notice it didn't change down here too much. It still looks kind of the same, but what it really did, it cut it in half. So it's going to play twice as quick now. It'll be like two seconds instead of four seconds. Um, so it's important to know that it's different than this. If we adjust the timeline here, it changes the way the clip looks, the way, the way it appears to us in the timeline, but it doesn't really affect the speed or the playback of it at all. So it'll still play just as quickly. If you want to undo those changes, hit Control Z on the keyboard. Now it's back to regular speed. And if you want to do a slow motion, we can right click and go to change clip speed and just make it something below 100%. So we'll double click and maybe type in 50 here, or let's do 25. This will be 25%, so this will be pretty slow. And if you, if you pay attention to the sound, if you can hear that, I'll turn it up a little bit. It sounds kind of interesting because it's slow, but also because it's been the pitch has been adjusted. So if we go back into those settings here, we can see we, there's this box check that says um, pitch correction. If we didn't have that, if I Control Z undo the change, right click again and go into change clip speed. So let's not do pitch correction and make it 25%, and the audio will be much lower this time. So if you're going for kind of a slow motion effect, a lot of times if you're going for a dramatic increase or decrease, you'll probably want to have that unchecked. Because, uh, but if you're just doing slightly, it's like sometimes people will want to, um, they'll want to save some time in a video, so they'll, they'll go like this. They'll go to change the speed and they'll change it to maybe like 105. And over the period of a whole big long video project, if you just increase it by 5%, and you adjust the, do you change the pitch correction? Uh, you do pitch correction. Uh, people won't even hardly notice that you've increased it. It just looks, you know, it just looks like a normal video. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's not much more. Let me see here. If anything else I can talk about? You can't. You could adjust um, the frames too. So if you want, if you have an abnormal clip like this, that's 80 frames per second, and you want you want it to be a certain frame rate, you can also adjust by the frame rate. Oops. I, should have showed you that. So you can you can adjust the frames too, and it's linked to the speed, but you can adjust by frames. So if you want it to be 10 frames per second, you can just say 10 frames per second, and that will be uh, roughly 16.68%, or exactly 16.68%. Uh, oh, you can reverse the speed too. Click reverse speed. This is how you would reverse a, a clip as well. So this will play backwards now, backwards and slow. Um, yeah, that's really it as far as uh, adjusting speed of clips goes. And then we can still um, change this around. We can still, once it has edits, we can still adjust the video clip and it'll still have those same changes that we applied to it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.